All right, welcome everybody to chapter five here of the Uncharted, <clears throat> Uncharted Two Among us, Among Thieves. Oh my God, I'm butchering this intro here. But yeah, um, uh, previously we uh, we escaped with Sully. I don't know where exactly where Sully is right now. I mean, he did say that he was gonna go somewhere else before they did that little cliff jump at the end of the last episode. Uh, but we are here in Nepal. We uh, also just recently just escaped this big old monstrosity that was chasing us and made us literally have one bullet in our magazine. Um. So we're here in Nepal, I believe, and uh, uh, Fraser was recently talking to us. We're gonna see um, what the where the road okay. takes us down. The old market. Yeah, we're supposed to meet up with Fraser at the old way. market. My kid. Crap. And if, if for those of you that remember, this scene was actually the part where Uncharted 2 go, was really go, go. big on. There's a lot of detail in this area it's here. It was just really emphasized on that inspired the story Civil War AF I think I lit up Oh, I feel like that was a bad idea. Holy shit! Oh man. Okay. Oh, I got them both. Okay. I just gotta find Chloe. Uh, luckily, I do remember on where to find Chloe from here. This scene right here, I'm pretty sure, was a pain for a lot of you because you don't exactly know where to jump. You just have to be familiar with it. And uh, like judging just based off of this alone, for those of you that haven't played it, of course you know where to jump from here, but if you were to start off, you would have exactly no clue as to where to go. Because, you know, it's so colorful here, but um, another thing that, especially in this game, in the last game, in Uncharted 1, the, the parkour like little spots were inside a lot of rocks and like stone structures and everything in here it's a little bit of like both especially in the city is like a lot of yellow stuff and then I'm pretty sure you might have guessed it by now you can see by the bricks that are hanging off the walls like that and that's one thing that I appreciate from the series shit I was really loud on my end but uh, yeah like stuff like this you would have never guessed because it's like it's just really hidden in the structure which is really honestly cool that they do that because it kind of makes it more realistic, I guess. So we're all here. But yeah, like st stuff like this, details is really cool. And back uh, when this game was released, we didn't have nice mechanics part like part of uh, particles and stuff like that, like the water and all this destruction and like broken pieces of like like building material, I guess. Oh, that's one thing that kind of irritated me in this game is, uh, as you saw right there, as, as I was hanging from a ledge, sometimes you get really, like, stuck. You'll, you'll see what I mean later on down the road. I mentioned it. I'll mention it. Just see. Ooh, that was a... Oh. I can't get it now. I doubt it's going to be a spot. Can I jump? Okay. See what I mean by the yellow stuff? Like the yellow coloration of the building stuff? I'm gonna be very stealthy here. Ooh, a Wes. What, did that really give away my position? Alright, so this is burst. I remember that. Oh, and it has a scope too. Alright. Gotta get those headshots, my dude. He's used the Western. One shot that guy. Alright. 
All right. Got a couple guys coming in. Let's get that guy. Oh, uh, and the, here, look, here goes the shielded enemy. These could get on your nerves. Where's he at? There he is. Got him. Okay, I need a. I need a regen before I start any of that stuff. And here comes this asshole. I don't think you can melee him. Yeah, you can't melee him. Oh! Just what I need. But I managed to get him. Right shield could be useful. There we go, nice. Oh, great. You move really can this tank a Oh it can. Shit. Holy explosion. Oh. And here goes the hero of the day. Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah, <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? Oh, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance. So what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe, now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right, right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. All right, so I guess we're going to be looking for a building that's going to be supposed uh, Marco Polo's next clue. It's no good. It's locked. Wait here. I'll see if I can find a way around. There, right, here we go. I don't exactly remember where to go from here, but... No, it's not here. It's probably in the other room. Oh, I see it. It's right there. I think we do a little loop-de-loop -loop around and then jump up here. See, easy as that. Hey, I can see the hotel from up here. Yeah, I know. We're almost there. All right. A lot of parkour. Straight to brick, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Can I shoot it from here? No. I mean, I probably could. I just probably need to activate it. Shit. They're here somewhere. 
Shoot the law. Shoot up there. Ah. That's a pretty good vantage point for a gunfight. I can't use the other gun. Does he stagger after a couple of shots? You help me, Chloe. Bloody hell, mate. Nice. Alright, here we go. I don't think so, pal. Pick that up. Oh, how does that taste? Nice. Hello. Stand back. Well, guess you had that one covered. This is gonna be one of those parts. Yep. It's a shame you have to sit on something that big. Here you go. Say I never do anything for you. I always make sure all my weapons are reloaded before I go anywhere. It's like a habit. Punch that. Uh, I'm just kidding. I have to shoot it down. Never go wrong with some grenades. Come on, this way. Go. Okay. Any day now. Just don't want to get a up. That was chivalrous, huh? Yeah, it's not dead. You just gotta ask for it. I like how they're just walking into a building that's just on fire. And acting like nothing's happening. It doesn't look like things are going too well for the resistance. All right, well that's gonna that's gonna do it for chapter five, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here, as I promised at the beginning of the uh, series, doing things chapter by chapter. Uh, some are longer than others. Like for example, chapter four. That one was like a monstrosity of like 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. That's going to do it for Chapter 5. Uh, as always, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to see more content from the Viral Gaming channel. And uh, as always, have fun. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. I will see you guys next time.